Welcome back. It's your feel good breakfast show, Espresso op SRBC3. Net so, dit so smooth. Hey, smooth. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Wednesday, man. Welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, an update on what's going on in, in Chan right now, oh. dude. Are we nearing the business end of the tournament? Oh, we're in it, my yeah, friend. We're yeah. in it now. Semi finals tonight. It's all happening in Free State. The Free State Stadium comes alive at 5.30 this evening. The big one, I think this will decide who is going to be the strong favorite going into that final. Ghana up against Nigeria. Yeah. The strong Ghana, favorites? Who, 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 I would say Nigeria. Be? They have Without to a be. Doubt. They've scored so many goals this tournament. They've come back from behind. They've handled the pressure situations. Um, of course, they've done what Bafana couldn't. In And putting it to, to context, in yeah. a cup like this, to be scoring four goals in a match, you don't see that ever. Very true. Very so this true. young yeah. team, as much as we were saying that inexperience was counting against them, maybe it's helping them now. Maybe they don't know any better. And yeah, this the is hunger's just there. This is it. And I guess the coaches also being on their side, just, you know, making all these statements publicly about how they're going to just kill the opponents is, is helping their confidence levels too, which I think uh, adds to a great deal when, when it comes to this level of football. Uh, the, the smack talk has been going out there and shame, you know, Ghana's boss. Now, Ghana, you... you certainly can't count them out. They're one of the strongest sides um, in football at the moment, certainly in African football. Maxwell Conrad is trying to talk it up before the match, saying that you know, the goal scoring building up to this point hasn't been that crucial, but I somehow think it's going to rest on who takes those opportunities tonight and who has that hunger. And for yeah. me, Nigeria, they have the fire. So the big one side is, yeah. yeah, the one side of the affair. Then we've got Libya, who are looking strong. They've always been really strong. Up against the dark horse, Zimbabwe. <laughs> You know, Secretly, you, I'm hoping Zimbabwe takes it all the way and maybe just sneaks through like a penalty shootout win against the Super uh, Eagles. That man, would be something for the Southern it. Continent or Southern Africa to celebrate. Uh, should we be supporting them? Should the South Africans be out there supporting Zimbabwe? I think so. The young side, um, you know, you, you put into context that the Zimbabwean cricket side couldn't pull themselves together yeah. to have a test series against South Africa at the moment, yet their footballing side is out there proving against the best on the continent that they can yeah, stand up and yeah. be counted. So I think my money is on Zimbabwe. I think that's where the <laughs> okay. sentimental boost is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to put my money on them, but my heart is definitely with our Zimbabwean friends there, man. Good luck to them in the semi-final against Libya, right? Mm. Very, it's gonna very be a big tough draw. It's going to be a really tough draw. And then just spare a thought, finally, for Liverpoolian fans last night. Eish, man, it just it doesn't seem to be going their way. You know, they had a very good pre-New uh, Year's Christmas season uh, and, and, you know, they were at the top of the log breaking into the new year and yesterday was just like not uh, going their way. It really wasn't great and I think, you know, I used to think uh, being a Spurs supporter was a tough draw, you know, um, <laughs> but, but we, we'll hand it to our Liverpoolians. But the big one tonight, Man City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. Um, that'll go a long way in deciding who's going to be in that fourth spot for the Champions League and we know that's what it's all about, getting into the highest tier. So I love your football tonight mm -hmm. and we'll be obviously reviewing all of the action from Chan 2014 um, tomorrow morning.